Evan, this is the teachable moment for fans to pay attention to right now. Rick Ross is a grandpa, y'all. He is literally almost 50 years old. He's somebody's grandpa. And this is not boss-like behavior. This is teenage-like behavior. But it's always somebody who is over-eager to want to be involved in something that's willing to take it to another level so that they could be relevant in whatever's going on at the time. And that's what we're seeing right now. So when fans be like, no, this is just competitive hip-hop and all that, that's why I'm like, stop with all that. Don't, don't fool yourself and don't let the media fool you you see how all this plays out rick ross tweets this um the site that posted this says this is alluding to possible violence between the two egos get involved crews get involved we got to be honest about where this stuff goes and this is this is not cool this is somebody that's supposed to know better than this and do better so that's why this shift is happening and we got new leaders now in the culture you feel me and if people like this don't want to get with the shift they get left behind man let's grow all i hear y'all talking about is your money all right. Jesus. <laughs> I, I didn't have time to cut the end off of that. <laughs> um, what do you think about what D1 said? D1 wilding, bro. I think D1 was petty in the beginning because <laughs> cause I remember when Ross was talking about him, he said, you got that got yeah. that, that bird nest on your head, George. This. I think he took a little shot in the beginning just to redeem yourself. But, <laughs> but what he was redeem saying himself. was facts, though. Like, yeah. the mug can turn violent real fast. Yeah. Pride yeah. and ego get involved and the yeah. devil in the mix playing on your mind. Like, you hear what he said to you? You going to let that slide? Yeah, man. So the state of the world we're in right now is Kendrick dissed, you know, J. Cole and Drake yeah. on what's it called? Like that? Like or, that, yeah. Mm-hmm. J. Cole responded, apologized. We talked about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Drake put out a song, yeah. Push Ups, where he went out at everybody that was dissing him. Yeah. And just this morning, when we came in, Drake went again. <laughs> oh, With, wait, wait, wait. Rick Ross went. Rick Ross. I miss Rick Ross. That's he what went, he was responding yeah. to. Which Drake said, once he said, yep. he said, he made more money than me, I turned it off. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Drake's stupid. So petty, man. <laughs> and then so this morning we came in, Drake had responded again with a Tupac Snoop AI yeah. disc back to him. So um what's your feelings on this? Do you think this beef in particular has a chance of turning violent? I I to me honestly, I don't think the Kendrick and Drake one is, but I do think the Rick Ross and Drake one could possibly do. Cause I feel like Rick Ross, after a while, he can he can hit you in comments and stuff, but then something you can say to him really hits him. You can tell when he gets serious. Yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, even when he was going back and forth with Envy, like yeah, he started getting a little too yeah. serious. Yeah, <laughs> so so I'm thinking, and my personal being is like, if you say the wrong thing to him and you happen to be in an event with him, something probably might pop off. Oh, and I think I think the ones who talk a whole lot be the ones who not gonna do nothing. <laughs> I think the ones who quiet, like with that Chris Brown Quavo thing, like Quavo probably crying. You know what I'm saying? He might hurt somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like Big Rick Ross, he on camera cracking jokes and doing all this kind of stuff. This boy making too much money to do an obvious move where you are gonna get somebody knocked off or hurt. It's automatically gonna think it's you. It's just too much to deal with with that kind of money at play. They just doing a whole bunch of entertainment trying to be funny, and then the one who get roasted gonna lay low for a minute and come back like nothing ever happened. But it's the ones who quiet. The ones who you can really see, like in their eye, like man, this hurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doing the ones that mess around and risk it all and knock you off for it. It's just like the street. Because I, 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 I think people. I think everybody kind of sees this as entertainment, but yeah. I immediately see it as okay. This is this is um this is a little dangerous because you're 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 saying things. Drake is I think good at keeping it light enough to where you somebody would have to take it dark, like yeah. Pusha T did, kind of take yeah. it dark. Um, so I think he he's very playful with his responses, but it could easily turn real. And I think everybody has the Biggie Tupac thing in the back of yeah, their mind, knowing. Yeah. I think that's how the the uh, Jay Z and Nas beef ended because it was like, okay, y'all need to calm down. Yeah. Like this is starting to get serious. Yeah. So overall, as Christians, it seems obvious that these diss songs are bad. Yeah, but it seems like we still enjoy them. Yeah, why <laughs> is that? Cause it's the competition of it all. You still, mm-hmm. I mean, you think about, I and mean, this is a bad analogy, but you you about to have the Olympics come soon, and it's like, you know, you, whoever you Team USA versus the world, and it's like, you like the competitive nature of sports. You like the competitive nature of anything. You could be playing <laughs> you're taboo and people going crazy, like you know what yeah. I mean? Just competitive nature. Um, but it's the words now, and I think the thing, the problem is with words is. You mean words. 
You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You mean what you say, and you say what you mean. So I think, like, using that, when I, when I, I remember I, I told some people on this chat I'm on, I was like, yo, Rick Ross is about to take it there when he tweeted that out. Somebody's like, well, he put that in his lyrics. I was like, I didn't really hear it. I kind of skimmed over what he said, but when you tweet that out, like, when you see me be as gangster as you, that's something, that's a totally different thing than you saying that on a song that people, like, really didn't catch. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I, this man, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't believe he gonna do nothing. I believe they just talking and rapping. When I look at Rick Ross, even when he's trying to be tough, of course he got bread so anything can happen, but I just don't see him taking it to that level. I think it's all, like you said, Drake kind of keeping it light, making fun of him and stuff like that. I think when you start talking about like with Tupac, what he did with Bad Boy, like that yeah. was something that, the, you know, he died soon after that. Like you start talking about messing with people's wives and Forget the whole label staff and the crew and yeah. all this. And you start the first bar of that uh of that song. First off, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that yeah. right there, that's that's different. These guys right here, these are comedians. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like But I, I do I do think I do think I remember Drake saying like I think it was on a rap radar podcast when he was talking about how beef is so stupid at times because you can't go nowhere. It's like yeah. You you if you at an award show, this person in, and he's like, I gotta bring some security, I gotta do extra stuff, and it's mm-hmm. like it's not even worth it. So I like, so sometimes I don't even want those problems. But I think I would say this: back in the day, of course, we've had people even prior to Tupac and Biggie that were people were going at people, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, and rap. And I think back then, when people were going at you, is like. I don't think Sean is nice. Let me see how Sean Penn yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like I don't like it's Sean's pure wife. competition. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like I, I'm. I I can't stand you as a person. It was. I just don't think you're a good MC. So let yeah, me give you these bars, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you gonna respond back and say, "No, I'm better than but you." But are, are, isn't this all still rooted in pride? Are yeah, we just yeah, ignoring yeah, the fact yeah, that yeah, rap yeah. is just Prideful. steeped in pride? <laughs> yeah, it, is. Yeah, it definitely yeah, is. It is. I mean, I think I think at the end of the day too is, <laughs> but then pride but, is that sin we just ignore. Like, oh yeah, 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 gluttony. Yeah. We'll eat till we fall off. <laughs> but I think I think it's hard to it's hard to rap and just be mediocre. Like and what I mean by that is like not taking pride in what you're writing. You know yeah, what I mean? t- take pride in what you're writing, but I'm talking about saying prideful things. I think I think we've even Christian hip hop has absorbed this idea that rap means be prideful. No, but but what I'm saying is if you take pride in what you do, you're gonna write prideful stuff, right? No, you could taking pride and being prideful is different. Yeah, they, taking pride just means you're proud of it, like like I did a good job. Being prideful means I'm the best. This I'll I'll kill anybody. Like that's pride, pride. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, yeah. Isn't it? But no, I'm, I'm just saying that's what I'm acting like. I'm acting is one is better than the other because God could be like, I want you to say this, and you'd be like. Uh, let me try this and this is like I take pride in this versus yeah, but, what God but, gave but me. it says you're not supposed to boast in yourself you're supposed to boast in him so your yeah. your your prideful bar should sound like my God is the king my God is the best yeah. my this and that we it just, shouldn't be like I'm the best I'm the this I'm we the just petty it. man that's all it is we just <laughs> petty man we like to see drama and, and, and nonsense that we gotta really just get ourselves together Yeah, that's really brought out too but I, I do believe the Chris Brown and Quavo one could get through. that one's that one yeah, needs to stop def- right now <laughs> yeah that, that's just diabolical cut it <laughs> out <laughs> cut it out alright let's um <laughs> did I miss a poll yeah do you think sure the, did? the rap beefs will turn violent um, Kendrick versus anyone can Rick Ross versus Drake can um, Chris Brown versus Quavo and the one that won with 61% said all of them can none of them will slash none of them will got so. it so they don't think nothing's gonna happen yeah. 